Today we're adding fish to Murphy's tank, which only happens like once every couple of years. We've been redoing it. Maybe you've seen the other video, link to that somewhere up above. But today we're adding over 200 Rummy Nose Tetris. And I say over, because I haven't counted them. We were quarantining a thousand of them for my 800 gallon. I had to move. And now the remainder that we didn't sell off are going in here. Now we tested with a bunch of, well a bunch, like 24 Rummy Nose to make sure he wouldn't eat them all. He did eat like three of them. That had us worried, but now he's left him alone. So it's time to fill out the school and we're gonna do that right now. So enjoy my life savings in Rummy Nose Tetris. In case you were wondering, they all have a much more faint color for Rummy Nose Tetras. That's common when they're stressed out. So they're also one of the best schooling fish, which you will be seeing right now. They move in a big herd, and this 360 gallon tank, we thought that would look pretty cool. So the ones that have been here, nice bright Rudolph Red Noses, the rest of them just trying not to die. They just lived in a bucket for an hour. You know, hopefully he doesn't go to murder town on them, which he shouldn't. Next up, we'll feed him, because that's really what you're here for. You didn't know it yet. You came for the Romeo's Tetras, but you're going to fall in love with them when you watch him eat. And yes, it's all fresh water, and uh, we do have some new plants in the back. They're still establishing. We want to get a nice carpet. He keeps digging with these geos, so let me go find some food. Okay, ready? All right, so here we've got two pounds of clams. He polishes this off in two or three days if we, well do way too much we did it all at once but get ready to hear him eat these like potato chips and this is way way less than what he's going to eat by the way i just want to show you but i don't want to confuse him too much he barely chews anymore he's a teenager He says, that, that was laughable. I'm not even gonna bother. All right, here you go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see the Rummy Nose Tetris picking at it too, which is hilarious. These clams are the easy clams to eat. We have much bigger, harder to crack clams, but it takes him, you know, maybe 10 minutes to eat them and that, you don't want to watch a 10 minute video. So this is the highlight reel. Yeah, anyone that gets in his way, so you, if you watch his eyes, they look forward. When they get bigger, they actually can't see in front of their nose anymore. And so a fish in front of them can get eaten on accident sometimes. They actually freak out when they do it. Oh, I thought he was going to get double. All the shells that are in there make for substrate, and uh, we have to clean them out. We use a net to do it. A lot of people ask if uh, when he eats shell and he swallows it, yes, he poops that out. They can get impacted, but they're kind of made to do that. Rarely is it a problem. Sometimes they do get constipated though, and it's pretty scary, but he's good. He's good at, do, good at his job. Oh, he got lucky. Oh, okay. I was like, you got lucky just tearing the meat out. They have to eat clams and other hard stuff to trim the teeth down. It's like a rabbit or like a beaver. These two plates grind against each other. He knows he's on camera. They can see 30 feet outside the tank, so they, they know. Sometimes we have to back up and get him to eat. See, and there he goes back to eating. So in the back of the tank, we have lots of uh, chain sword, dwarf chain sword. We put them in planters. They're starting to run now, but there's still not quite enough nutrients since we did the big rescape. We're thinking about putting in some root tabs back there, but 
with the juriparis, as they get bigger, they're going to dig and dig and dig more. So we're kind of just waiting for enough uh, poop to happen. Which, when Murphy goes to the bathroom, it's like a chihuahua went in there. We feed live baby Brian every day to the rummy nose. We'll be putting an auto feeder on here with uh, some small pellet food. And then we also put in frozen blood worms. And if Murphy doesn't snipe them all, then they go to the, the juraparis. You can see all the, the spangles that will eventually look amazing on the juraparis. But for now, they're still juveniles, so they don't quite look uh, in their final form, I guess. I have bred them in with a Mubu puffer before in this tank and it's pretty fun to watch them move the fry around. It's like, but two years of solid plant growth looked amazing, yes. And then like six weeks of plant growth doesn't look nearly as good, but if you can imagine the, the carpet of all of this, it will look really good. Give it you know, another six months or so. It's just a work in progress. Got a little bit of algae, got a little bit of more crypts to pull out. He's got a heel hole. I, People don't believe me when I say he won't stop. You can actually, so with pufferfish, you can feed them, and I, I say this from experience, you can feed them so much where they'll throw it back up. Uh, so you don't want to go that far. But like one time there was like discounted uh, like crab legs and stuff. So I was like, here, eat it all. And he just gorged Hank, my other puffer, and threw it all back up. And then I spent hours cleaning the tank from rotting seafood. So that... You learn a lesson of like, there is a threshold in which they can't go past. He's pushing, you know, he's getting closer to, you know, 22, 24 inches, somewhere in there. Well, if you want to see this guy eat more, check out the videos up above. We feed him quite a lot, obviously. If you're local to the store, you can come in. And if you wear your aquarium co-op t-shirt, you actually get to feed this guy a few clams. Um, you know, you can bring in the family, and, and kids love it, you know, buy a, that small t-shirt, bring your kid in every other weekend, and uh, it's a good time. Such a cutie. There's always a live camera, by the way, uh, 24 hours a day. This camera right here focuses on the tank. Go to our website. You can see what's going on. There might be night lights on. might be during the day. You might can see customers feeding. just depends on what time. A common question is, how often or what time do you feed? when customers come in and wear shirts. If we feed him in the morning this much, and then five customers come in wearing shirts and he doesn't want to eat, then we got a problem. He usually will eat, but sometimes you got kids that are real excited and they're just doing this and he won't eat. And so the hungrier it is, the easier it is to get him to eat.